guys, how are you doing? Right, one thing people ask me a lot is, Rich, where's your favourite place you've ever been? Rich, what's your favourite ever school you performed in? Rich, who's your favourite fan? Favourite, favourite, favourite. Can't we all just love each other? But I also get asked to talk about weirdest experiences, best experiences of going in and performing in schools. So, what I thought would be interesting, because no one's seen and performed in more schools than I have, which makes... Me sound kind of creepy at the same time. I thought I would tell you my top five things that I've discovered performing in schools. Let's just dive into it. Let's be honest, everybody goes to school at some point, unless you're a, a ladybird or a worm. No! Dave the worm, rest in peace, I love you. Right, so my first point here is when I walk into a session, all I have to do is shut up, bottle flip, and then straight after, Dab. And instantly you have at least 20, 30 people on your side. No joke, you do that in a school, and nine times out of ten, at least 50 of them will go, <laughs> Here we go, this is me attempting to do it whilst making toast. Here we go. <laughs> Believe it or not, the school you go to, it's pretty similar everywhere you go in the country. Right, number two. The one thing I really have noticed, and I had a feeling when I started this tour, is how much YouTube and gaming really has helped so many people through a hard time and how it is one of the most incredible things nowadays. I would feel far more alone if it wasn't for YouTube. I would have far more free time on my hands from editing. There's just endless amounts of content on YouTube I can waste my time doing. A gaming experience is so different for each person and that's why people like watching other people play games. And I love the fact that every single school I go to, I make a new best friend because of gaming. It's quality. Number three, I am guaranteed with my job to get called a pedo at least a few times a day. For example, I met with one of my mates like last week that I haven't seen. He lives quite far up north. I haven't seen him for ages. And uh, this is kind of how it went. Oi, oi, mate, what do you do for a living? I perform in schools promoting discrimination and anti-discrimination. <laughs> pedo. Oh. So yeah, as you can imagine, not only with your mates having a cheeky bit of banter, being a lad, you always have to part up with that. Yeah, I get it online a lot as well. <laughs> Just trying to raise awareness here, guys. Do you know what I mean? Right, point number four. I see myself in so many people I perform to every day. Wait a second, that just... Oh my god. That is just asking for what I've just said at point three. Pedo. No, when I look at and I talk to a lot of people, I just go, you're exactly like I was at school. I had the full-on fringe. I listened to heavy, heavy, heavy music. I was a proper emotional, socially awkward human being. I meet so many people every day. It makes me really happy to know that there's so many people that are like me at school. And it, it genuinely does make me happy because I, I thought I was so weird when I was at school. And the final fifth point, which I think every one of you watching right now can definitely agree with, is this. School has changed not a single bit since I was there, mate. Not a single freaking bit. There's very few schools I've been to where I've been like, oh, mate, I would have loved to come here. would have changed me life. Do you know what I mean? I would have been like a much different person. No, I don't even feel that way. Like, schools just need to cater to different people, man. I have a short attention span, you can tell. You're not going to be able to teach someone like me in the same way you'd be able to teach someone who has a perfect attention span. They need to cater. Like, why don't they use video games to help us learn and stuff? That'd be easy, wouldn't it? That'd make it easier for us. But seriously, I'm a musician. When in my life am I ever going to need Alger freaking bruh? Do you know what I do need? I need to know how to do a mortgage on a house. Didn't teach me that at school, did they? I'm self-employed. I want to know how to do my own taxes. Didn't teach me that at school. <sighs> right, guys, I want you to tell me below the thing you find most infuriating about either being at school or when you were at school. And also, though, a positive thing that your school do, because I kind of want to have a bit more faith. Point one, the thing you hate the most. And then point two, that little positive thing that maybe your school does that someone else doesn't or did that someone else doesn't. We all hate early mornings. So maybe the first one should be start the school day at like midday. Lions galore. Guys, if you enjoyed this, you want more five things, make sure you smash that like button below. Guys, I love you. Have a great weekend. See you very, very soon. Would you rather this up tomorrow? Bye! The autofocus on this is quality. Dem as dull.